Uh, obviously, you, you've been in with both Mitchell and Burns. Uh, you beat Ricky Burns in your hometown. It was a terrific fight. You, 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 re you retained your title. And then you lost to, to Kevin Mitchell. But there was a couple of points in that fight where it was a seesaw. How do you see... How do you compare the two of them? And how do you see Saturday's fight going? I compare... Uh, Mitchell recovered very well. He did recover very well and... And they did good, but I edge Burns on point for some reason. Someone's saying, someone's saying yeah. Burns on point, yeah. Oh, you, you fancy Burns? Yeah, that that seems to be the sort of general, the general feeling does seem to be that way. That most people seem to think that that Ricky Burns can win on points. I, I'm not, I'm not sure if perhaps uh, too many people are thinking that, and perhaps Mitchell can pull something out because, as you say, well, if he's hurt, he recovers. Who are you going for? Me, I'm not sure. I'm going to keep my I'm going to keep my options open until I get there. I think the okay. sensible bet, you know, if you look at it, would be Ricky Burns on points. But I saw Kevin; he was in here a couple of weeks ago okay. in my studio, and I've never seen him look so focused. I'm going to see. I, I like to. I don't know about you, Carl. I, I like to look at fighters in the hours and the, the, the days in the hours before a fight to see if any change comes over them. Do you do you often do that? Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna I tell you the truth. It's gonna be a good fight, and um, I think it's gonna be a good fight. And I think Burns on point. Oh, I right. do and what about your fight with Geffen on on Friday night? What can you promise us? A good fight. Everybody should get Box Nation and watch it because it's gonna be excellent. Training's gone well. Sparring's gone well on it. I just can't wait to fight now. Carl Johansson, thank you very much for your time and for that plug. Carl Johansson, who fights on Box Nation this Friday against Martin Geffen from Walsall. The fight's actually taking place in uh, the fight's actually taking place at the Hilton Hotel in in central in central London on Park Lane, and it's part of the the Debra Show. In fact, the Debra Shows have been going on for years and years. The first ever Debra Show. Featured a guest I had on earlier on, John Simpson, uh, I think retaining or winning the British title against Andy Morris. That was the first ever Debra show. And that was also the first ever broadcast in Britain by Satanta. It was uh, myself, John Rawling did the commentary. I think he had Billy Schwer with him. And I was with uh, Paul Dempsey, Dempo. That is a gorgeous hunk of a man. He was presenting with me and I think it was Alex Arthur. That seems like so long ago. It was on about the 7th of September, 2007. And it, and it wasn't that long ago, as people are pointing out to me. They've finally woken up in the other room. Um, they, they, they're all awake now. They're buzzing now. They can see the finish line. Um, and they are, I tell you, they're like cheaters now. They've just come in on some poor rabbit with a bad leg. Uh, but that was, it was only five years ago, but it, it was. It just seems like so long ago. And, um, um, and I need to apologise also uh, to Billy Morgan. I did say that Billy Morgan will always be known as Little Billy Morgan. And that's because Jimmy Murphy and Mickey May and Leanne at West Ham, unfortunately we lost Jimmy a couple of years ago, uh, they always called him Little Bill. They'd all, they would always say, it's Little Bill. So I, I've always naturally called him Little Bill, but he sent me a tweet and he went, Oi, I'll just read it to you. Oi, Buncey, to you, it's big, bad Billy Morgan. Bill, of course it is, as they say in the trade. A little bit more on that, uh, that trip that the Repton are taking today. They're going out to Lagos in Nigeria. Babs Eden, who used to box a Repton in the 70s, has got business dealings both in London and in Lagos. He's got a toe in both of those business ponds. And I think he's facilitated the move. They're going, they're going out there, which I think would be a good trip. But it's hard. You box twice in a week. If you went to, I don't know, if you went to France and boxed twice in a week, it would be tough enough. If you had to go to Nigeria and box twice in a week, that's going some. And do you remember last week we, we announced the winner? I think his name was Martin Lindsay. I think that was his name. Was it Michael Lindsay? It was Michael Lindsay. Well, we announced him as the winner of our, of our poetry competition. There was about 700 poems and Trevor Beatty came in and he, he finally, he shortlisted it to six or seven and he, ma and he managed to get, he managed to choose one. The one he chose, absolutely fantastic. It was a brilliant poem. We've subsequently found out that, that Michael is Michael Lindsay. Michael is only a, uh, he's, he's in school. He's in sixth form. So what we're doing next week is we're getting Michael to actually come in and we'll give him the picture. Well, that also saves us, obviously, sticking it in the post and freighting it out to him. And also, also next Monday, I'm hoping 
to maybe try and get Danny Williams in because Danny, he's still boxing. He's out there. He's still winning. He's still winning fights. And another guy we're going to try and get on the phone next Monday. And I, I should do this more. I should, pre I should preview next Monday's show more often. Sometimes I don't. It's Brian McGee because it was announced today that he'll defend his portion of the WBA super middleweight title against Mikel Kessa. There's no date announced yet. Uh, there's no date for, firmly announced yet. And there's no venue. But I'm assuming it'll be Denmark. And I'm assuming it'll be December. It's going to be very busy November, December, because in addition to Freddie Flintoff, who's obviously going to be on Box Nation having his professional boxing debut, we're also going to have, we're also going to have at the end of November, Ricky Hatton. Not, not, not necessarily on Box Nation. Ricky Hatton's come back, and his people have told me reliably that Ricky Hatton is a sellout already. Nearly 19,000 people. But I'll tell you something funny. Here's Ricky Hatton, right? the most popular fighter in British boxing history. That's the truth, because he took overseas of him about 70,000 in those fights, OK? So the last thing Ricky Hatton needs is a PR team. Well, they've managed to hire a PR team. I think that's ridiculous. Ricky Hatton, the most popular fighter in the country with a PR team. That's nonsense. Anyway, great to see Ricky back, because he's back for all the right reasons. We will be here on Friday night. And Saturday night, the big one is going to be Saturday night. Burns and Mitchell. Burns, of course, is the champion. Here he is, Ricky. I'm Ricky Burns. Watch me live in Box Nation. From Cambridge, here.